probably right. I think you're probably right. Um, so I guess that only leaves us with one team. That's right. And that's the only be, team that matters. That would be Tampa Bay. That's the only team that matters. The Tampa that's the only Bay. Reason I showed up today. <laughs> the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, seven and nine last year. Which, when we get to the stats, you were just the fact that they went seven and nine is just utterly absurd. Uh, win total is nine this year. Seems like that might be a little low, um, but okay. To go over is minus one twenty five. To go over, or to, excuse me, to go over is minus one twenty five. To go under is plus one hundred five. To win the division, plus one seventy five. And look, I mean Bruce Arians. We both love Bruce Arians. Uh, we both love Byron Leftwich. We both love Todd Bowles. Um, yards per play last year on offense, five point nine. That's good for number nine in the league. Defensive yards per play, they only gave up 5.1. That was good for number seven in the league. This defense was so good last year compared to what people expected. Oh, yes. I mean, they were unbelievable. I mean, they were they were number five. Todd in Bowles is a grown-ass yeah. man when it comes to calling defenses and getting them ready to play. Yes. Um, that man knows what he's doing. Now, here is where uh, they became a problem, right? The, the defense it gave up some scoring and whatnot, and they were really, really damn good when the offense was not turning the ball over. They were number 28 in the league last year at giving up the ball. Uh, 0.8 turnovers they gave up every single game. They gave up 41 turnovers last year. 30 interceptions, 11 fumbles. You, you just ain't going to win a lot of games doing that, right? They I still mean, won seven. Jesus. I mean, they won seven, but that's because they were that's, really damn good yes, elsewhere. Th- this this team is, is just... Well, let me let me read Somebody off the names. Not giving the ball away. Tom Brady, Gronk, Mike Evans, Godwin, uh, OJ Howard, Cameron Brait. Uh, don't forget about Ronald that. Jones, Keyshawn Vaughn, and they signed Shady. Like, I think they're going to be awesome. Uh, you, Mar- you named a bunch of people that don't matter and a bunch of people that matter a lot. So, uh, like I said, defense was great last year when the offense didn't put them in awful spots. And the offense um, didn't go put them in awful spots yeah. ever again. I think I think ever, you're right. Ever again. Uh, Mark jumped in. He said, hey, guys, you guys have been busy on videos. Yeah, 100%. 100%. We, we have been busy with SBR. We've been busy right here. And, hey, we're in football season. This is what we do. So it's time to get at it. Uh, I have got them going 10-6. and six, And, honestly, I I could have had them going 12-4. and four, But I, I tried to calm down my expectations. Like, I know that Tom is getting older. But I, I, I tried to temper... The expectations here. I've got them ten and six. I still got them going over the win total of nine. Uh, I think they have. I mean, they are going to be right there with the Saints at competing for that division crown. I agree. So, what what are your thoughts here? Are you, I mean, is this just going to be Super Bowl or bust? Or, I mean, what are we what are we looking at? A hundred percent. So, this is the best head coach, offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator combination in the league. There's not a one. There's not one better than this. Okay, until Bill Belichick actually names somebody to be decent coordinator one day, that might change. But he he doesn't have defensive coordinators anymore, and so that's this is it. Okay, this is it. This team is incredibly loaded on offense and on defense. There are no coordinators that I trust more than the guys running this team. There's no head coach I trust more. They needed somebody at the helm, and I don't even think they needed. Tom Brady, the greatest quarterback of all time, the skeleton of Tom Brady is worlds better than what Jameis was because while Jameis created unbelievably big plays and excitement and could just sling the ball, his accuracy was insane at at times, and he just gave the ball away. He took the sail out of the offense, and he, he left his defense out to die time and time again. This defense could be the best defense in the league this year when it's done when we're looking at scoring defense because they're not going to be – what do we say all the time? I learned this from Mike Lombardi. The best way to play defense is to not play defense at all. Yes. And 100%. I don't think – this defense is going to be on the field so little compared to what they've been in the past because, A, I don't think they're going to score fast like they did with Jameis, and, B, I don't think they're going to get the ball turned over all the time like they did with Jameis. And this defense – minutes on the field is going to get cut in half from what last year's was just cut in half immediately. 
I think you're if right. You think, if you think Tom Brady is old and can't throw the ball deep, you didn't see any of those playoff games at the end. He didn't have anybody to throw to, okay? All his receivers are gone. He was throwing to Philip Dorsett and a rookie named Nikhil Harry that, that never was healthy the whole year and can't separate, okay? Yeah. And he, was sti- he still had zip on his fastball. He was throwing lasers down the field 25 and 30 yards deep. Now, nobody was catching him, but – he can throw the football still. Not worried about that. This will be the most accurate passer that Mike Evans has ever had throwing him the ball, that Goblin has ever had throwing him the ball. And we got a new friend, okay? We got a new friend. There's a young man by the name of Scotty Miller, all right? Okay. You don't know his name now. You're going to know his name later. No one knew who Wes Welker was until he got with Thomas. No one knew who Julian was until he got with Thomas. Well, you're going to know who Scotty is, okay? Okay. It's got him a little whitey friend that is fast and, 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 and runs just a bunch of weird, crazy trash routes, okay? Can't get open, but catches the football and gets hit real hard. That's exactly what Julian was good at. That's exactly what Wes was good at. And apparently, they've been working out all offseason, right? I'm okay. telling you, okay. this is going to be good. You're right about uh, uh, the running back. Oh, God. Which one? Keyshawn Vaughn? No, God, no. Uh, Ronald Listen, Jones? Ronald Jones. Rookies and Tom don't mix. Tom's not going to trust a, a 20-year-old kid. He's just not. If you got hopes for Keyshawn Vaughn in fantasy this year, your hopes are dashed. It ain't happening. I didn't unless, draft him. I'm all good. Unless Ronald Jones gets hurt, but I think Ronald Jones is going to be big. Well, even still, you still got all... shady. So, oh, God, get off. Please stop. Please Dude, just stop. I, they brought him just in. Stop it. He's a veteran. I think he'll stop be fine. <laughs> you know who they're about to pick up? You know who they're about to pick up? Leonard Fournette. Leonard Fournette. <laughs> I'm telling you, this team, I went through my list. I knew this team was going to have more wins than not. Fourteen and two. Oh my god! <laughs> I think, and I think they're going to win the Super Bowl. Okay, they're going to win this division. I think they're going to win the Super Bowl. Okay, yeah, you giving away, uh, uh, just just spilling it right there, S- sitting out here for free. <sighs> Tom Tom Brady is out to prove one thing. If you don't think this guy doesn't still have a chip on his shoulder from being called a system quarterback his entire time in in, in New England, I think he left for one reason and one reason only. I want to prove that I can do this. So let me tell you how he's going to do that, by the way. Okay. The same way Peyton Manning did it. It's a little magic trick, okay? It's a little little magic trick. And there's a this isn't an original thought from me. I didn't know about this until I heard it. The the Ringer Fantasy Stat guys, uh, or Matthew Barry maybe talked about this. What it was a fantasy guy that I listened to talked about it. When Peyton Manning went to the to the Broncos his first year and he just set the world on fire, one of the ways he went out to get all those touchdowns was every time they got on like the one or two yard line, he checked out of every run play and just threw a little dink pass for a touchdown and got a bunch of cheap little touchdowns to to fluff up his stats. I'm going to tell you they ain't running the football when they get inside the the, the three yard line. Not, not, not one time. Tom is going to check out all of them. He is going to try to break records and set records. And he is going to try to prove to everybody I am not a system quarterback. I can do this without Bill. Damien jumps in, by the way, said this quarantine life is it, Chris, hard. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I, um, I, lo- I love this man. Okay, okay. Maybe I mean, more than, well, definitely more than, like, some of my family. But maybe in the realm of the people that I live with. I've got them 10 and 6. Uh, again, I I could see them 12 and 4. This is a, I mean, it, it ain't the easiest schedule in the world, but it does help nope. that they had a last play schedule last year. That's right. So, um, thank you, Jameis. That was yeah. the parting gift that he gave him. That that definitely helped, or not last place, but, you know, no, not good. Place. Not good. So, you know, with that said, um, I mean, if, if you think they're going to win the division, that's plus 175. I mean, if you think they're going to yes, win sir. the Super Bowl, I mean, what? It, I didn't even look at the odds for that. I'd probably get decent odds on it, but it, it's not. It, I mean, they obviously went down big when they picked up Tom. Oh, yeah. And they went down big. Uh, but it's, hey, it's still positive. Oh, still it's still positive. Oh, it's, oh, yeah, everybody's positive. Of course, of course. Uh, all right, so Mark jumped in. He said, uh, your videos are informative. Friends and I have been looking at the college games in Vegas on the odds. Uh, some bets out there that you guys nailed. Um, hey, cheers to that. Cheers to that. Glad that you are taking some advice. Uh, we will go ahead and end the show with that. We got eight more teams down. That means that we've only got half the league left to go. And uh, and I believe we're going to try and get in a show tomorrow as uh, our duties for SBR do not include tomorrow or Thank Friday. You. 
Uh, however, we will be on SBR's YouTube page. That's Sportsbook Review. You can go find them. Uh, just do a YouTube search, SBR Picks, and you'll be able to find it there. But we will be live on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time uh, going over you know the closing lines and whatnot for the games, answering some questions, et cetera. Starting next week, uh, we will be doing Tuesdays at 5.30, Thursdays at 5.30, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. live on the SBR channel to, uh, to discuss college football. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to be doing more NFL previews and whatnot, getting ready for the season to kick off a week from tomorrow with Kansas City and Houston. And, I mean, it, it feels it, – it's kind of weird. Quarantine has felt like so long, and this offseason has not felt very long at all. I mean, it, it's kind of crazy. Um, but with that said, we are – Mark said, see you guys at the pay window. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we're going to get out of here. Go on, like we said, subscribe to the SBR YouTube page. Head over and find our articles over at sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. Uh, all of our picks for this weekend's games, etc. And we'll have, uh, we'll have NFL picks and whatnot ready for next week right here on this show. We appreciate all you guys that jumped in the chat and whatnot. We, uh, we thank you for giving us an hour of your day at basically uh, at least three days a week right now. So you guys have been fantastic. Make sure you are subscribed to the podcast you know, in case you missed the live show and whatnot, and uh, and keep dumping in here, man. We uh, we appreciate you guys. With that said, take care of yourself, take care of each other. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com, or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures at Gary WCE or at Chris B Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show. Leave a.